more can I say? Top billing. All right, Top Billing. I don't want to spend too much time on this particular content item right here. Wanted to get something out. I haven't done something on Florida in a couple of weeks here. Just talk about a few things that I saw in this particular game. I don't want to spend too much time on this, to be honest with you, because Tennessee is not Alabama. All right, so we can really start licking our chops for a Florida-Alabama matchup now that we know it's here. I'm still... I still got to take it one game at a time with Florida, though, because of that defense. Even in this particular game right here, I felt like you can see some of the defensive stuff starting to take shape, but it still could have been a lot more dominant to me. So with that being said, though, Florida is the absolute truth on offense, most potent offense to me in the entire country, just for the simple fact that they use everybody. Everybody, man, it's crazy. Everybody gets a turn, right? This is a community. Everybody, it's community loving out here, right? That football is community loving because they will, what, six, seven, eight people deep. Anybody. So if you're one of these guys out there and you're like the Florida Gators is Kyle Pitts or Bust, you haven't been watching football, is anything but that. Anything but that. The backs catch out of the backfield, five, six, seven wide receivers, multiple tight ends. Florida is lit on offense. Now, the run game, ah, but, man, does it, right? They have some of these concepts to me that act as a run game. It, it just does, right? You got to – this is the new age of football right here. Maybe Florida just doesn't need a potent run game, right? They just need to be able to run the ball just enough. Like, I like this concept here. We'll see Trayvon Grimes out here running a stop route. I think you got Copeland working the post here. Then you have a jerk route by my man Kadarius Toney. So it's somebody that people need to pay attention to. To me, he's equally as impactful as Kyle Pitts, which is saying a lot. You got Pitts right here, backs out ISO, running a fade. Of course, releasing Damian Pierce right here to the flat. So if you see, right, they like to expand the entire width of the field, and they always shoot it the length of the field as well. So how do you guard that when everyone is in play? On a lot of these other teams, maybe one or two people are in play. Kyle Trask spreads the ball around. You know why? Because you can't deal with the Trask at hand. All right, so we see here, look at this jerk route, man. Oh. Now, look at that. You get Ken Darius Tony matched up on linebackers, right? He's working the tight slot. You got a three-by-one formation. He's the tight slot. What are you going to do here? That's what they want to force you to go to your heavy dime packaging. Then maybe they can run the football a little bit better there. But, man, if you don't, you want to leave a, a, a linebacker out there, look how my man does this, right? You got the, rip, the, the skip rhythm step there. It's almost like an option route. Maybe if the – Defender right here shoots this up to try to combat this right away. Maybe he stops here because you can see with the rhythm approach of it right here, right? There's some time right here before he gets into this jerk phase. Kyle, Kyle Trask obviously wants to go up here to Kyle Pitts. It looks like it's pretty open as well, but, man, he could take the cheese underneath. Uh, shakes this man's jock loose, muscle relaxes him, wide open in the middle of the field. Man, I feel like they can almost run this ad nauseum. Against Alabama, though, it's going to be off the chain because we'll see in the tight slot, then they will go to their dime packaging and they'll have a guy like Malachi Moore versus Kadarius Tony. It's going to be hard. All right, same concept. This time into the boundary here, they have formation into the boundary, all right, or personnel to the boundary. Three by two, and you have two vertical routes on the outside to clear out. Two clear out routes, so you already know what's going on underneath. If they want to shoot it. There's going to be something at each level in a Dan Mullen scheme because this man is the hacker, right? He's going to hack into all levels and all quadrants of the field. So two on the outside there, uh, mid-level, mid-range game right there by Kyle Pitts, I believe that is, and then got a stop route here, and then another jerk route by your boy Darius Tony. I love this damn concept. You're a jerk. I know. Look. Oh, this time it was against a DB, right? This time against the DB, he bit hard. You see it right here on the pool. Trash always does a good job by holding the safety no matter what. There's really no reason to hold a safety right here. He probably could appear at this if he wanted to, but he's just so damn polished that he does it no matter what. 
You can see right here, it looks like it's going to be an out route. My man bites extremely hard there. Shakes his jock loose. Nothing but space and opportunity. And look at all that space. Getting the ball to your playmakers out in space. The hacker doing his thing. Love this concept. Not too many people running the jerk routes out there. Some NFL shit right there. I remember y'all expanding constrict. Horizontal, vertical. He's working the entire thing, the hacker right here. So a lot of levels concepts going on. It ends up looking just generically like, like level, level, level. Just having something at each where he can work deep to short really quick and be able to go through his progressions like that, right? Full scan reads as well, but a lot of level stuff. We can see this one right here. Look at that. What do you do right there? You can almost tell by the leverage of the of the cornerback just because you were in that constricted formation. And you can see how he's turned out there. So you got the cornerback turned this way. Copeland running an out route. Jumping Jake Copeland himself running an out route, table route here. But then you have a dig route by Kyle Pitts. He got held right here, but he was going to come like this. So as you can see right there, the levels in that makes it extremely easy to read. Just one side of the field. And you're working into the boundary so the throws come a little bit hotter. That's just what he's doing, man. That's what I'm trying to tell you. I know people out there, right, it looks dire. Like maybe Florida can't hang with Alabama. But Alabama has to defend Florida as well. Alabama's defense is not the tried and true defense that you've seen before. And it has not faced an offense like Florida's, in my opinion, especially when you consider the things that they're doing, the personnel, the wealth of personnel, and the fact that they will go all over the field and test matchups as well. So that's something to think about right there. But don't get me wrong, though. Alabama is a mother, is an absolute monster, especially when you consider its run game as well. But one more time on that. See on the pool right there. Now look at this. I don't know if this was called a penalty or not or whatever like that, but they had this one right there. He could have probably hit pits, but he's already anticipating. You can see the deep third coverage there. You know what's open on the deep third coverage if you have reduced split, and that's exactly what Florida is operating out of right there. You can see it come open. Also, quiet is kept. Your man jumping Jay Copeland has emerged. Just gives Florida another weapon. One that is extremely athletic and could be a star. Check this out right here. I love these type of split flow plays. I talked about this uh, maybe a month ago or so like that. Florida's use of split flow action. And you can see it right here. Manufacturing a run. Maybe that's something that they're going to have to do. We still have to factor in Emory Jones perhaps getting in in the Alabama game and manufacturing some yardage that way as well. Like I said before, it might not be necessary. <laughs> might not be necessary, but you can see. Uh, right here, your man coming around, Kendarius Tony here. He's going to have a lead with the first thing smoking block by Kyle Pitts here, who actually does a good job of this, allowing uh, Tony to angle off of him right there. But it looks like something they could build off of as well is because you look like you got option action going back this way with Damian Pierce in the trash at hand there. So you can see the split flow action there, which – Let's be real here. That works on your eye discipline. Are you disciplined enough to follow this play correctly, read your keys, or are you going to just run? <laughs> a lot of people just like to run and hit and chase or whatever like that. These are the people that you can get. Uh, Alabama has some guys who are very good on the second level, like a Dylan Moses and a Christian Harris. Um, but these guys can be had in that manner as well. They're very aggressive. All right. Let's check it right there. Boom. That's hard. I really like that one a lot. Imagine this. Imagine, right? On the second version of this coming around and then him not pitching this and keeping it as an option, as you can see right here, you do have Trayvon Grounds out there to block. Uh, Kyle Trask can shoot the alley right here, or he can shoot that bad boy to the outside, depending on what uh, this particular edge defender wants to do. But split flow action, give the ball to Kandarius Tony in space. All right, contract and expand. Look at this reduced split formation here. Watch how wide it gets. <laughs> yeah, that's the cool thing about these type of reduced formations right here is you got a lot of field to work with out on the edges there. So you can see here in a three-man route combination, you have Justin Shorter running a corner route. You have a speed out by Kadarius Tony, And then coming below that, Xavier Henderson running a drag. 
and then you have the shell of what looks to be some type of counter O. All right, you got a counter O right here. And they do a good job of bluffing that, pulling the line in as well. So a lot of a lot of moving parts there to work with. Uh, look at that. And he sprint out and gets to go with the levels portion of that as well. So levels, look, one level, two, three, and he's sprinting it out. And you can see a fourth level with a block and release right here by Kyle Pitts. See him, right? Battling. Then block and release. He could have just hit Pitts right here and let him create right there. But he has levels at each quadrant. So his is Xavier Henderson. Yet another weapon, right? So I can go on and on with this. You guys get the point with this. Florida is the truth with the passing attack. The run game's going to have to be manufactured, but it's just a one-game scenario. Anything can happen in a one-game scenario. Now, I want to come back and talk about the defense, most particularly the pass rush. You can see the pass rush starting to take shape. My boy Chris Bogle out there putting in work, Brenton Cox, um, Zach Carter, a lot of these guys were. So I don't want to completely concentrate on Tennessee because Tennessee is just a poor outfit. I don't know what to say about Tennessee. They completely let me down right there. I think it has some talent on the team, but poorly coached definitely and – not so much you can glean from a win over Tennessee. I would more be able to draw from stuff that they did negatively because I feel like Tennessee shouldn't even have scored, like straight up. So that is what it is on that. But I want to com- I want to concentrate on that because I think that that could be a difference maker in the game against Alabama as well if they can get to the the passer and affect Mac Jones in that manner. All right, but it's your boy Murph, the Underground King. Thank you for watching. And remember, this is a film study, not a highlight channel. So we're going to do shit at my pace. This is my shit, and this is how I get down, all right? So don't try to control my content. Leave me alone. Peace. What more can I say? Top billing. Top.